Hello everybody, it's Claire back with my last video for Craftspire.com. Um, just reminding you about the discount code that you can use if you buy from their website. So I just thought that I would make some wax seals ahead of time that I could store. Um, I know part of the thing of having the wax seals is that you can anchor things down using them, but also I just thought if I make some ahead of time and I haven't got time to wait for the wax to melt, then I can just stick them into my journal pages. Um, and so this is what I thought I would do. So I got some plastic because I thought if I put them onto plastic, it might come off. Mm, it didn't. So um, I ended up having to cut this one out, but that was OK. This worked OK. So <clears throat> that's my daughter's hand that you can see there popping in. She was watching. So because it didn't lift off the plastic, we then decided to try some um, like wax paper, sort of baking parchment type paper. And um, that did work much, much better. So rather than cleaning the little dish out each time, I'm just adding different colours in and it does create a little bit of a marbling effect too. This is where I tried to get it off and it wouldn't, wouldn't lift. So I decided that I would cut it out. Didn't want to waste them. That one was a bit of a funny shape, but I, I, I quite like that. I think that's part of the charm of it. So here's the wax wax paper. Add it, add it, add the wax on, pop, 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 oh my gosh, I can't speak, pop the seal on and then leave it to go cold before you lift it off. And this one you can see it lifted straight off the paper. So this worked perfectly well. So really then I just set about creating lots and lots of different coloured wax seals. Some of them I added some um bits of thread to as well just so that on those times when I'm journaling and I haven't got much time and if I wanted to pop a wax seal on the page I can just um, grab one and glue it in place I also love the little beads of wax that dropped onto the wax paper, so I ended up saving some of those as well. Then I was dithering about what colours to do next. <laughs> That's just a dotting tool that I keep poking into the wax. I just wanted to see if I could marble some of the colours together. So this is a really fabulous little kit. It's a great sort of starter kit. Um, if this is something that you wanted to have a try at. And don't forget, if you use the code, you can get uh, $5 off if you spend over 40 And I guess this works quite well as well, making them ahead of time. You know, if you're in an art journal and your pages have gone a bit chunky because you've done lots of the pages, um, you can't always get them to lay flat. So doing the uh, wax seals this way means that you could still have a nice shaped wax seal to stick in, um, but you wouldn't have had to worry about the wax dribbling all over your page. So I hope this gives you some great ideas of how you could um, use your wax seals ahead of time. And then I'm just gonna store them in this little tin, along with all those little bits, which were really difficult to pick up. There we go. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the videos and don't forget if you shop at craftspire.com to use the code. Thanks for watching.